Okay, so I guess I'm back with part two. Um, when I got cut off there, um, everything we got from that guy, um, that I showed you, he, he was like, well, my husband said, well, how much for all this? And he was like, well, how about $8? And when he said that, I had been looking at this, um, Disney train. Uh, I think it's from the 50s. He had it on a table. I didn't pick it up. I was just kind of looking at it. And, um... I don't know what made me do it, but I was like, well, we'd, okay, but will you throw in this as well? And he was like, sure. So we got all that, plus this Disney train, and it's like three pieces. Uh, well, it's three train pieces. And look at Dumbo, how cute. Um, and the little turtle. Um, so we got all that for $8. And they all have, they're kind of a cardboard... Uh, cardstock type thing, and they each have a little hole in, in the back for hanging up. And they're they're in, uh, I googled them, they're from the 50s, so they're in really good shape for the 50s. Um, I thought this little guy was missing something on the top of his head, but he's actually not. And that's just how it, um, how it came. Um, but I thought that was a really good deal. The guy was like, he was happy, he was getting rid of some of his stuff. He wanted us to take more, but the other stuff that he had was really not the kind of stuff that I look for, um, so that was a pretty good deal. So then we went next door to the lady's house that actually owned the property, um, and, uh, we got a few things from her. She had a lot of stuff. She, apparently her, I think her father had died, and she was getting rid of his stuff or something. I'm not sure, because she was elderly. I don't, I'm not sure who exactly, whose stuff it was. But, um, she had a lot of stuff I sh should have got more, but this was the end of the day. It was hot, and I was really kind of tired. But the first thing I, I got was, um, I noticed the, the Tumbling Santas, and I have sold these. I have sold a version of these actually just recently, and I have another half a set and then a ceramic set that are made to look like these already. So, but I knew they were Fitz and Floyd, um... I just seem to find them everywhere lately, but it's five of the little tumbling Santas, and I love them. Um, I kind of want to start collecting the little tumbling everything for every holiday, <laughs> but I don't know. So, um, I picked up, I was looking at the Santas, and my husband was talking to her, and, and I had one in my hand, and I said, well, how much for the, the Santa? And she didn't really have a lot of Christmas, and she said, well, you can't just, she started laughing, and she said, well, you can't just buy one Santa, you have to buy all five. So I said, well, how much for the five Santas? And she said, how about five bucks, a dollar a piece? And I was like, sure, um, I think that's a steal, five, you know, a dollar a piece for each one. I love, you know, anyway, so I grabbed those, and then, um, when I was talking to her, I noticed this, this big box of cards, and, well, I thought it was just cards, but it's actually more. I noticed it when I was walking up, and I was going to go back and look at it, but, uh, when I was talking to her about the Santas, this one girl came up, and she grabbed this box of, I think it's, uh, I think it's cards and envelopes, out of the big box, and she said, she asked the lady how much for this, and she said, well, you, uh, you can have the whole box for two dollars, and I was like, whoa, and then the, so the girl's like, well, I don't really want the whole box, how about for just this one, and the lady kind of, she kind of looked, and she said, well, a dollar, I guess, you know, a dollar for that one, or, or take the whole box for two, well, the girl said, okay, so she, um, she said she would take this one, and then she kind of walked off and started looking at other stuff, well, then, um, I was looking at a few other things, and I didn't find much else that I wanted, And and but I saw these little um, felt reindeer, and I grabbed those, and when I was grabbing those and looking at them, I was like, you know, I should get that box for $2, and these are Joseph Originals, by the way, made in Japan, these are so cute, I got those for me, but anyway, I was thinking about the box of cards, and I was like, I looked at her and I said, did you say $2 for the the whole box? And she says, she kind of looked toward the girl and she, her facial expression and her body language, she was kind of like saying, yeah, I can't believe she didn't want, she wants to pay a dollar instead of two and get it all. But she said, yeah, $2 for the whole box. So I said, well, I'll take that. I said, because I was looking for something to put my Santas in anyway. Um, so I'll just stick them in there and then anything else I find. And she's like, sure. So I went over and put my Santas in the box and 
and I showed the lady, and I said, I've also got these two reindeer, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put those in the box. And she's like, okay. So we were still kind of looking. And then when I went to pay, um, my husband I, my husband went to pay her. He was talking to her about some of her raspberry plants. But she says, well, just give me $5. And um, so technically it should have been 7 plus whatever she was going to charge for the reindeer. But she just, she said, just give me $5. So, and then the girl that had these in her hand actually came back and said, I, I, you know, I don't really need these, so I'm, you can just put, have them. And I, you know, she was going to put them back in the box, and I was like, no, you, you keep them, I, you know, I, I said $2 for the box without them in it. So, but anyway, she insist, insisted that I keep them, and she threw the, these back in the box. So, that was kind of cool. Um, but, so for $5, I got all that, and I'll, I'll kind of glance at that box and show you a little bit what's in there in a minute. Um, it is awesome. And then uh, the last sale of the day we went to, uh, we were actually looking for another sale um, that was on our uh, this website that we look at. Um, and on the way to it, we found a bunch of signs for this yard sale. And this lady had a bunch of stuff in her driveway. And this little Fisher-Price bus, um, which is one that I used to play with when I was little. I, some of us in my family had it. It had a pull string that no longer does. But anyway, it was sitting in the driveway on a table full of tools. And I thought, oh my gosh, nothing was really priced. And I thought, that's crazy is that sitting there like that. I didn't see in the garage yet, but I picked it up and grabbed it and started holding it as I was looking around in the driveway. My husband went into the garage and he was asking her about something in there. And she said, oh, that's $30. It was some uh, vintage, like, collectible in an unopened box. Long story short, I went in the garage. I didn't realize there was stuff in there, but the garage was full of toys, older toys, and just, I mean, dusty, dirty. This is still pretty dusty, too, but in the back of the garage, hanging from the wall, was, like, a lot of Fisher-Price, the little houses, stuff like this, and I thought, oh, Lord, that, whore, that little bus is going to be expensive, because she just had so much stuff, and it, it's like she had good vintage stuff. So I was looking around. I found a few other things, and finally when I went up, went up to her, and I said, but the ones that were hanging in the garage were in pretty bad shape, so I'm not really even sure what I could have got them for or would have paid for them. But I um, went to, when I was pretty much done looking, I went and asked, I said, well, how much for this bus? And she said, oh, I don't know. How about a dollar? So I was like, really? She goes, yeah, about a dollar. And I'm like, okay. And I had a couple other things in my hand. But um, I thought, you know, God, I really got a deal. These things usually go for way more. But when I got home and started looking at it, and I, I kind of wiped some of it off because it was filthy. But I noticed um, it's missing the string, which you can see has was broken off here. There was actually a Chanel stem sticking here that I took off. But the main thing it's missing um, is the back sticker. The sticker that goes right here. This is a sticker that has the date. I'm pretty sure this one was, um, it's number 192, but I'm pretty sure it's 1965. <clears throat> and the sticker said 1965 Fisher Price and like the number and some other stuff. That If you were wanting this to resell, which I don't, I want it for me, but I would love to have that sticker on it. So I was kind of disappointed, but, um, all these little kids, I remember we had all these, the little dog, the little dude with the, pot on his head. I mean, um, I love these little kids. And, um, I have one little guy that I showed in a video a while back that I think he's actually like a father, though. He's not one of the kids. Um, but I remember all these cute little kids, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to start a little collection to put the kids in here. I remember each one goes in their little spot. But I love that. For a dollar, I, you know, I can deal with it and I can... I can find some kids to go in it. But that was so cool. That brings back a lot of memories. Um, and I also had in my hand these cards. She had some Whitman cards in the back. And she had $3 and $4 written on the pack. These were the kind that the top cover looked like a little book. Um, she had uh, a rummy set, a heart set, and another set. I can't remember what the other set was. But they were all priced. This one was just like this. No top. And I started looking at it. I thought it was Old Maid. I was looking for Old Maid, but I didn't find it anywhere. But then I realized that this is the Rummy set. 
But I remember having this as a kid as well. I remember some of these little animals. They're just as cute as, as some of the old maid cards. Um, but um, I asked her about this set. After she said a dollar for the bus, I said, well, how much for this set? I, I see your other sets back there, but this one I couldn't find the cover. And she said, well, it's probably back there. And I said, well, how much for just, just it like it is? Um, and she goes, well, how about a dollar? So I was like, okay, sure. So I took that for a dollar, too, which I thought was a steal. That I love those... I love those pictures. I don't know what I'm going to do something crafty with them, I guess. But those are so neat. But I didn't really want to pay three and four for the ones with the cover. Because I have some kind of like them. And I just didn't want to pay that much. Um, but then I... So I had these two things. When she said a dollar a piece, I was like... I had seen the clue game in the back. I figured it would be a lot. I didn't, I didn't take it up there. But when she said a dollar for those two, I said, well, actually... Um, I noticed your clue game back there. And how much for it? And she said... Well, how about just a dollar too? So it is a 1963, and I, if you've ever watched my videos, I collect old Clue games. I have been, I have actually, I think I've got this one before, or either I just found the board. I think this is the one that I just found the board at a at an antique flea mall, and I think I paid like six dollars for just the board. But um. I love these graphics. I love Clue. With my family and I, we, we, we play Clue a lot. I've given away Clue games. I've bought Clue games. Anytime I find one that's old and cool, I buy it. I haven't really looked. I kind of glanced in it, and it looks pretty good. Um, it actually just, apart from this little rip right here, it um, looks like it's in really good shape. Oh, wow. It's even still got some of the plastic. It's actually in better shape than a lot of the ones that I have that I have um seen these are the actual the little wooden people in, or instead of plastic and it might not have all the well I don't know it might have everything in there I mean I'll look later but for a dollar I was like so excited that is so cool because I, I would have probably paid I don't know up to ten dollars for that game um if I had to, but um, I was very excited to get that for a dollar and that as well. So let me show you some of the cards. I thought it was just cards, but I was glancing at it a little while ago. Um, there's some vintage paper and brown palace hotel envelopes from some hotel. Um, there's some stickers. are kind of folded up but some little stickers not even were used but um what i saw that was so cute let's see if i can find it now were the, um these little christmas cards look how cute that's like a pack there's quite a few in there there's a little more little notes that match that pansy set just all kinds of cards um there's a bunch of um That's like paper stationery. All kind of cards. The, back here, there's like a bunch of um, postcards. Oh my gosh, it's just so much stuff. Um, cards here. She had some of them labeled thank you cards. Look how cute that is. Hearts. Look at the kitties. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Uh, miscellaneous cards. I think some of these were some really cute ones. Look at this. For baby shower. I guess that's invitation. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm a, I'm, I have just recently been watching a girl on YouTube that does... Um, she takes used, car, or used cards and um, makes new cards out of them and I've I've always scrapbooked and done that kind of stuff but I've never actually really done cards there's a bunch of notepads so maybe this will inspire me look at this how cute <laughs> to um look at that look at that how cute to maybe do some cards and look at these pretty just just card stock anyway this was so cool I couldn't believe that the girl didn't want it for $2 for all of it, but 
she didn't really look in it, and she was kind of young. She probably just doesn't have room for this kind of, you know, some, kind of, some people just don't really get into this or don't have room for it. Look at that, how precious. But, um, yeah, so that was a really good find. It's a really sweet lady. She actually told my husband to come back and dig up some of the raspberry bushes because they were getting all into her garden. And he probably will because we have one blueberry bush that's doing really great and we wanted to add more blueberries or not blueberries blackberries or raspberries so we'll probably see her again but um anyway look at that how pretty but that's pretty much it um i do have a i did hit the ark store a few days before this and i will do a video on that because i found some really cool things this time i don't usually find a lot of cool stuff at the ark store but i my buggy was full this time so i'll do that but um Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.